And finally tonight, a blockbuster drug goes generic, and patients, doctors, and the pharmaceutical industry all have an interest. Margaret Warner has the story. It's been the most profitable prescription drug in history, with many millions of people taking it over the last 14 years. But today, Lipitor, a so-called statin that lowers cholesterol levels, lost its patent protection, opening the door to low-cost generics. Lipitor accounted for more than $10 billion in worldwide sales last year for its manufacturer, Pfizer, and more than $130 billion over the patent's life. It's the first of several blockbuster drugs due to lose their patents in the next year. We look at the implications of all this now with Dr. Jerry Avorn, a professor at Harvard Medical School and a senior physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. He's also the author of the book, Powerful Medicines. And Dr. Avorn, thank you so much for being with us. How big a change is this for the world of pharmaceuticals and for consumers to have Lipitor going off patent today? Well, for consumers, it, it's welcome news uh, for those who are on Lipitor because they'll be able to switch to the generic drug, which is called atorvastatin, and it's the exact same molecule. It'll work every bit as well, and it's going to cost a fraction of what they've been paying thus far. How small so a fraction? So from that perspective, uh, well, um, Lipitor is now selling for about $5 a pill. Uh, it probably costs about uh, a dime a pill to make, so it's a nice business to be in with that kind of a markup. And probably the uh, rate will drop down to maybe about um, half as much uh, initially, and then even lower than that. There are, there are statins that are now available at discount stores for $4 a month, uh, as opposed to $5 a pill. So it could well get down into that $4 to $10 a month category, um, certainly after six months when there'll be many more generic manufacturers selling it. Now, Pfizer, though, is fighting back against generic competitors. Yes, they are. It's really kind of a, like trying to hold back the tide because uh, in, in six months, because of a variety of legal reasons, there will be many generic manufacturers, and at that point, Pfizer can't keep fighting them all back. I think what it's trying to do is just uh, preserve whatever franchise it can in the waning months of its uh, availability uh, on the market. And uh, frankly, I'd rather that all of that enormous creativity that they're showing in ways of dealing with this legally and through deals and economically were being spent on developing new products well, rather than trying to figure out other ways to get people not to use the generic. But explain what they're trying to do. It's quite a novel well, approach. The, the, it involves arranging deals with prescription benefit management companies to not make the generic available. It involves making coupons available to patients to bring down the copay to get them to stay on Lipitor as opposed to the generic. It involves a, a variety of, of kind of side deals with, um, with insurers, with uh, druggists, with any, anybody who's a player to try to desperately hang on to a couple more months of Lipitor use. Now, is there not a debate about whether generics are, quote, as good or at least as reliably good as the brand name manufacturer? Or do you consider that a settled point? It's not subtle, and it should not be a debate, and it should not have been a debate for decades. Generics are every bit as good as the brand name drugs. There's a lot of disinformation that gets spewed out there. It is not scientifically accurate information. All the data we have is that generics are every bit as good as the brand name products. They're held to the same high standards by FDA. They contain the exact same molecules in the exact same strength. And I really wish that that old canard about generics don't work as well could be put to bed because it hasn't been true and it isn't true. So now, there, as, as I said in the introduction, there are other blockbuster drugs like Lipitor, for instance, Plavix, the blood thinner, that have been a hefty chunk of the sales of, of the company, of the manufacturer. Are there other such drugs in the, either on the market or in the pipeline, or are we seeing a turning point in the industry? Well, there are people who have said the era of the blockbuster drug is over. And when I think of blockbusters like Vioxx or Avandia, both of which cause heart attacks, maybe those blockbusters we won't miss so much. But there could be new blockbusters coming along. There's a variety of new drugs now for treating uh, anticoagulants or, or blood thinners for treating a condition called atrial fibrillation that are just coming to market. Some of them could be 
blockbuster, if by that I mean billion dollar a year drugs. But we may see fewer of them than we have in the past, in part because people are looking much more carefully at how we spend every health care dollar. And a lot of the blockbusters of recent years, probably if they had been subjected to the kind of scrutiny that drugs are going to get from here on out, and again, I'm thinking of Avandia and Vioxx, may never have been blockbusters in the uh, period that we're living in in the first place. And, and is it also the case that the blockbuster drugs, as we call them, apply to just such a huge class of people and that now the whole nature of the research and the uh, and the formulas for various drugs has become more refined, more targeted? Well, I wouldn't dismiss the possibility that there's going to be some wonderful new drug that we can't even imagine. Uh, I think of nobody saw Google or Facebook coming a few years before they hit the streets and they were, in a sense, blockbusters of their own. There's a lot of exciting science going on, and I wouldn't rule out the possibility of some really exciting major drugs for huge numbers of people coming down the road. It's just a little hard to know what they might be sitting here in 2011. Well, Dr. Jerry Avorn, Harvard Medical School, thank you so much. You're very welcome.